we're ready. Adam is not quite back yet, but we can go ahead and get some stuff started for us. I'm so excited. I've been waiting so long for this maximum gold set. I've tried to not look to see what anyone has opened for me yet, just to have a better understanding. Thank you so much, Angel, for the follow. It was, uh, you know, you, you, you were... Honestly, you were the true MVP the night in that stream, calling those cards. You called the best cards possible, and it was just absolutely insane seeing those get pulled when you called them. But thank you so much for the follow tonight. This box has four packs in it. I got a uh, whole display of them, which is a total of five boxes. We'll be doing one box each week to start the streams and hopefully uh, get some pretty cool stuff. A lot of the stuff in this set is kind of a lot of throwback cards like the OG Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, Harpy's Feather Duster, Red Eyes, all those you know pretty exciting cards. The card I am honestly looking for tonight though would be the uh, Eldritch, the Golden Lord. That one, that just looks like a fantastic card. And then of course we also have two Phantom Rage booster boxes, 24 packs each. So we're looking at uh, 52 packs tonight, super excited. And we have a, a special booster box I'll be opening tonight. It's uh, it's kind of goofy why I picked this one, but I'm excited. <laughs> so these Maximum Gold have seven cards in them. Honestly, I'm not too sure which uh, which packs are actually the... Sorry, which card is going to be the specialty card in the seven. But we have number 87, Queen of the Night. The White Stone of Ancients. Starlight Junction, number 74, Master Blades, and then this next one should be the bigger card, Fantastical Dragon Phantasme. I'm so excited with these gold border cards. I don't think that's one of the bigger cards in this set, but it's still a gold border, and that's that's just gorgeous. All the gold border cards are going to be so beautiful. Oh, number S39, Utopia the Lightning. There's two in this pack. That's actually pretty awesome. I think that is actually one of the decent ones in this one. So that's that's pretty exciting there. We got Planet Pathfinder and back to number 87, Queen of the Night. Need to find a little spot to put these aside for us. Okay. Two in the first pack. Again, not too sure about what the odds are in this set or anything like that. I have tried to stay away watching any of these to have full, uh, full surprise as I'm going through them. Magical Meltdown. Ooh, Cyber Dragon Infinity. That is a really nice card. Try to get that to focus a little bit. Another gold right there. Dark Lord Morningstar. Reinforcement of the Army. Mind Control. Caligo Claw Crow. Love the art on that one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the gold borders are honestly gorgeous. Looks like there's going to be two per pack is what I'm what I'm getting at, it looks like here. So we still got two more packs for us. We are looking for any any of the OG cards would be really cool. The Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, Harpy Feather Duster, Red Eyes, and of course the Eldritch, uh, Eldritch the Golden Lord is what I'm really hoping for. Okay. Dark Lord Contact. Trap Tricks Dania. Beatrice, Lady of Eternal. That is that is crazy. It almost looks like it's a ghost rare on how, the, uh, on how the art is on that one with the gold border. That is such a pretty card. Okay. Lose one turn. House Dragon Maid. This is when I pulled a lot of the Mystic Fighter sets and they had a nice reprint for it in this one. Planet Pathfinder again, Mistaken Arrest, Dark Lord of Contact, to go back to the beginning. Our last maximum gold set for this opening. Of course, we will have four more boosts, sorry, four more boxes over the next four weeks as we go through more Phantom Rage booster boxes. Let's hope for something good here, though. Extra Foolish Burial. Number C101, Silent Honor Dark. Parlor Dragon Maid. All right, another one of the Dragon Maid cards. And Barrier Statue of the Droughts. Last gold card. 
Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. That is actually one of the biggest cards in the set, I think. Uh, yeah, that is. That is uh, the sixth biggest card in the set. Actually, bigger than Red Eye, surprisingly. That's a pretty nice art. Again, these gold border cards are just so freaking cool. Mecha Phantom, Beast, Extra Foolish Burial. Go ahead and put that uh, Dragon Maid aside as well. All right. So to start the opening with our first box, we'll go ahead and go through the gold borders again. Reinforcement of the Army, Cyber Dragon Infinity, Number S39, Utopia the Lightning, Fantastical Dragon Phantasme, Parlor Dragon Maid, Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring, House Dragon Maid, Beatrice, Lady of Eternal, and then back to the beginning. All right. So we definitely pulled one of the nice cards there. Hopefully in one of these other boxes we will come up with one of the Blue Eyes White Dragons or, you know, Dark Magician would be pretty cool as well. But it's time for us to get started with the booster box. Hopefully uh, Adam makes it in time so he does not miss an entire booster box. <laughs> okay. In this box would be pretty crazy. I've seen people do it. We, of course, had a, two secrets and a starlight last week. All right. Raider's Wing. Very nice ultra. I think that makes that place out now. I want to say we have three, maybe if not four of those at this point. All right. Not too bad. Nice ultra in the uh, the second pack on the right side. Gonna go ahead and move Raider's Wing aside. Four packs, including this one on the right side. One is gonna have a secret, or should have a secret, and one more should at least have an ultra. XYZ import Virtual World Phoenix Fan Fan. There we go. There is another ultra for us. It's a very nice card. Go ahead and put that in a little ultra pile real quick. Charge in a dark world. This card is super flimsy. What in the world? Almost feels like the other card I pulled the other day that didn't actually have a backing. Um, what? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if I actually showed you that yet. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go grab that card. Nah, yeah, I don't think you did. So, you know, just like any normal person, I was buying Yu-Gi-Oh cards at Walmart, and... Uh, I was pulling through and I grabbed this card. I'm like, wow, this feels really thin. Oh. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Um, fake? I. Walmart selling fake Yu Gi Oh? I thought it was really odd. I mean, there's no actual backing to it. So I don't know if it was just a misprint or. I don't know, but that is definitely weird. Yeah, super strange. It, it, it just feels like just paper instead of like the. You know, a little tougher cardboard that Yu-Gi-Oh cards and other trading cards have, but yeah, that was uh, really funny to pull out. Here we go. Jewel Avatar. Come on, baby. Defeating evil. XYZ import. Mutant GB 88. Mutant Cry. And for the potential seeker error. Warning point. That is actually a pretty decent one. I want to say that's a. I really want to say this is like a eleven dollar card. So but they pulled one. your leg. They no did. secrets? Oh, no, no, it's a secret. It is a secret. Oh, it is a secret. Yeah. Okay, all right. I'll uh, try to get it to focus. Might be able to see some of the, the rainbow shimmer. Gotcha. Yeah, I see it. Yep. So there we go. <laughs> that is the secret rare of this box. We're going to go ahead and get this one sleeved real quick. Always want to sleeve all secret rares and all ultras as well. While I'm getting this one sleeved, Always remember that, you know, while we're going through these packs, we do have a follower goal right now. We're trying to hit 100 followers on this account for TNC Penguin. Once that happens, we do have a giveaway. Wow, speak of the devil. Hey. My card 99 thank you so much for joining the waddle. And, uh, yeah, once we hit 100 followers, we'll begin giving away this Phantom Rage sealed booster box. Just on the side, I actually bought this one from the same hobby shop I bought my case from. So, you know what, I, as much as I would be sad, I would love to see someone get a Starlight when they do get that booster box. But, you know, once we hit that 100, we'll, uh, we'll have that. We're getting really close to our affiliate status as well, so that's very exciting. 
Buster Beast is the one I'm shooting for right now because I've pulled almost every other secret rare in the set at this point. So it would be really nice to add that one to the collection. Dogmatica Ashian. I have so many of these ultras. Very nice card though. It's it's just very very clean. I like the art style. Very like a kind of old school Assassin's Creed is what it reminds me of. Box. The reason it is special, I will get to in a moment. It's kind of goofy, but to me, little little extra hype to that box. Mutant ST forty six. That is our next ultra of the pack. That's actually a pretty decent card, I'm pretty sure. I think that's about $6, if I'm not mistaken. I know last time I pulled this one, it was roughly 6 Another great pull for the Mutant set to, you know, continue a potential deck over there. Not when we pull them. Okay. This pack do be feeling pretty heavy. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Raiders Unbreakable Mind. UA Locker Room. Dual Avatar, Defeating Evil, Awakening of the Possessed, Gigabyte, and our secret for this box, the last secret of this box, Mutant Ultimus. That is a solid, I want to say, $7 card. That's actually pretty nice. We have not pulled that one yet. Some very cool art. Very nice secret, though. Going to go and get this one sleeved real quick and a top loader, and then we shall continue in a moment. Very excited for the giveaways we have going on, and this is something we'd like to, you know, to do a little bit more here and there if we can. Maybe every few months if we can uh, hit our follower goals, hit the goals that we set, or maybe just uh, we're just feeling generous at some point, and we'll do a little giveaway for everyone. Ooh, Raiders Knight. We have an ultra to start right here, and I do not believe that is I've a cool pulled. card. I, I may have actually pulled this one. Yeah, I think I have. But yeah, that is a fantastic card. Very Lord of the Rings vibe for me. Kind of reminds me of a Nazgul and their uh, their horses in the for first movie. Go ahead I see and that. Set this mm -hmm. one aside for us real quick. Very beautiful Ultra. XYZ Import GB88. Totally Jess, thank you so much for joining the Waddle. I do appreciate it. Virtual World, the Heim, Ninyan. For our next super of the pack, we're getting closer and closer, hitting that affiliate status. I'm really excited. I, I'm very excited to finally hit affiliate on this channel. It, it's right. bad, but you, <laughs> it's you know it's cute bad. at least. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Tribe Grand Fractal. There we go. That's a great ultra. It's one of the big, I think that actually might be the third biggest ultra in the set. Yeah, roughly a six ish dollar card. We're going to go ahead and get this one to sleeve real quick. Pull a Charizard. Yes, that would be great, Eric. <laughs> Sadly, in uh, an Adam stream <laughs> today, no Charizard pulls. However, he did pull a great gold card. Such three nice... gold cards. That's right, three gold cards tonight. No, wait. No, two gold two. cards. Yeah, yeah. Two. It was two gold cards, but uh, it was lit. It yeah. was lit. And Infernity Paranoia, Infernity Wildcat. But it looks like Konami tricked us. Looks like they tricked us, and this is going to be the secret. Don't get me wrong. I'm not sad that it's the secret, but now we know that the secret's always going to be the second to last, at least until we can prove otherwise. UA, Libero Spiker. UA, Man of the Match. Awaking of the Possessed, Gagabyte. Banquet of Millions. Here is going to be our secret rare on the left side. It's over something big. Come on. Alpha the Master of Beasts, please. I'll be so happy. Dual Avatar Invitation. That's a sad one. That's uh, definitely the weakest secret in the set. It's all right. Still, I want to say about five, six dollars. So it could be much worse. The price could drop way further. But definitely a little sad since that is already our second one of that uh, secret. It's literally all volleyball stuff, so that's really cool. And then it's called UA, uh, like in My Hero. Ooh, dual av avatar empowered Kong Gaio. As the first ultra of the right side. Not a bad ultra. I want to say that's three dollars. Yeah, very cool. The, the gold on the card really pops in this one. So they did a great job with that art. Definitely one of the coolest dual avatar cards. And the dual avatar uh, archetype is pretty dope. 
it's pretty dope in this set. Everyone's talking about Mutant, but Dual Avatar are pretty cool as well. Penguin Brave. Love to see him. Definitely the best card in the set, let's be honest. As I already said, can we just have a, a Seeker Eric? Can we have Starlight of Penguin Brave? If, if that ever happens, I'm telling you. It, it's because I've Konami... Got it, it, no, it's because Konami's finally sponsoring us over at TNC Penguin. And, uh, you know, the, <laughs> the dreams have been made. <laughs> Could you imagine? Mutant Arsenal. Again, these mutant cards, so badass. Seriously. <laughs> Twister, Jabbing Panda, cute as hell, punching them fishies around. Penguin Brave? What can we say? Right behind the Penguin Brave. All right, moving on. Thank you so much for joining the Waddle. Appreciate the follow. Tyrant Union, appreciate it so much again. We're getting so close. Getting so close to that affiliate status. Once we hit it, I really think that's when we're going to, you know, start hitting. Just start hitting the ground running. We're, uh, we're just really pushing. I'm really excited to finally hit 50 so we can get affiliate and start, you know, gifting subs. I, I would love to get to the point where, we're, you know, we gift a sub every, you know, big pull. All the secret rare pulls, starlight pulls, you know, we just gift crazy amounts of subs and stuff. It'd be a lot of fun, you know, just for anyone who does hang out in the chat, really, uh, just a big thank you to anyone, you know, that does hang out and just kind of chat along while we're pulling Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Oh, oh, my buddy. Hey, me seven. thank you so much for joining the Waddle as well. We do appreciate it. As we are just mentioning, thank you again so much for anyone who does hit that follow tonight. Virtual World City, Kowloon, but uh, Papa Eric, we do appreciate it. You know, do love it. It really shocked me when he hit me with that uh, that gift sub what, two, three weeks ago now. Really appreciate it. And, I, you know, I'm really excited to finally get the uh, my last Magic Box. <laughs> I'm still waiting on my third one from GameStop. They're just doing me dirty. I once I get that third one for the uh, the bundle boxes, I'll finally open that on stream. I still have the 2021 core set, and what is the other one I have? Uh, Theros. I still have both of those just waiting to be opened. Rock band, Xeno guitar, bankrupt, <laughs> and uh, the banks are taking. Beginning of next year, yeah. yeah beginning <laughs> of next year. Oh, there we go. Mutant Evolution Lab. That is a beautiful secret. That is sorry, not secret. Uh, Ultra. That is uh, definitely the first time I've seen this Ultra, so that's very exciting there for us. I'm going to go ahead and get that one sleeved for us real quick before we continue. Only got a few more cards left. Only a few more. Sorry, a few more packs. I apologize. All right. Last pack. Last pack of this booster box. It's going to be our secret. Let's hope for something big. Like I said, Alpha the Master Beast would be really cool. Uh, Zeus Sky Thunder would be great. That would give us... A, uh, a full play set of that card already, which is pretty exciting. The pack's been out for a week and a half. But Virtual World, here we go. The last secret of the night. Arc Rebellion XYZ Dragon. Very nice. That's a nice card on there. I want to say last week this was about $12, $13. And it's pretty cool because it is the, uh, you know, the monster on the actual, you know, boxes and cases so that's that's really exciting there gonna go ahead and get this one sleeved real quick all right you know what just because the mapping meet us at the night we'll go ahead and do one more maximum gold box since everyone in chat did pretty much miss that one so go ahead and open the open up one more in each pack let's get a blue eyes let's get uh harpy's feather duster red eyes black dragon dark magician eldritch the golden lord all those would be really cool but here we go. Noble Knight Brothers. Domain of the True Monarchs. Fantastical Dragon Phantasma. Phantasma. We already pulled that one in the last one. And then Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. All right. Two nice pulls there. We got Mage Power. That was always one of my favorite cards to, uh, to run in a lot of my decks back in the old olden days good old og days of you imagine if they made these a new rarity instead of making it a set oh, i feel man. like if they made it a new rarity that would have been really cool like having it as a set is cool mm -hmm. but oh man a gold trimmed rarity mm. oh yeah all right good right prince they can 
they can be only th sorry wow there can only be you oh guy Ooh. the dragon champion there we go that's a very Hi. nice pull in the set it's always again it's always fun to see those og cards starlight junction again ghost bell and haunted mansion again Ooh. let's see steep roid red eyes dice the prime monarch back to the way prince two more packs left Two more packs left. This one right here. This Dark right Magician. Here. Ooh, don't tell me that. <clears throat> Dark Magician is a pretty good uh, pretty good pull in this box right now. This whole box costs twenty dollars. That card itself costs roughly twenty. I was so lucky and got four max and gold packs from Walmart for free. Nice, that's awesome. I uh, I saw someone post because a whole uh, box, like a case of them, is uh, you know, so there's five in there, and someone on a Yu-Gi-Oh group I'm in posted that the clerk at Walmart didn't know that it was per box, and they got the whole thing, all five boxes for $25. Dragon Lord, yeah, Morning Star, come on, big card. Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon, that's hilarious. Hey. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah, they forgot to ring up, open the display box. That's sweet. Uh, yeah, Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon, we ended the uh, Phantom Rage with this card and that's always a very nice way to do it and then super polymerization always loving the polymerization cards tough where's the dark magician yeah, definitely no dark magician in that pack We've got night beam back to the beginning there got our last pack this is the one you originally called that is going to have the blue eyes in it so we're going to hope for the best here and again thank you everyone who did stop by tonight who dropped a follow really appreciate it we're getting so close to that affiliate status and then from there like I said, once we pull big cards, we pull some secrets, pull some starlights. I want to start doing uh, some gift subs just to everyone who's hanging out. Thank you so much, Dylan Payne, for joining the waddle. I do appreciate it. That card felt really weird. That card's really flimsy. That's odd. Okay. Eater of Millions. Guy of the Dragon Champion. Oh, guy of. Oh, yeah. Silent Angler. And Appaloosia, Bow of Goddess. That is actually one of the bigger cards in the set, too. That's actually not a bad pull. I want to say it's roughly seven-ish dollars right now. Uh, yeah, it looks like five to seven. Five to seven, not bad. There we go. All right, well, so, you know, some not some bad pulls in here. Gear, Giant X, to go back to the beginning. We'll go ahead and go over some of the bigger pulls. We'll go ahead and just kind of fly through all these ultras. How to do the stream unboxings? Uh, every Sunday. Every Sunday night, uh, we have actually a Pokemon unboxing we do. On the Nerd Chambers, they just do a bunch of Pokemon stuff over there. And then once that is finished, right now we're doing two Phantom Rage boxes every weekend. And then we'll be doing, uh, what is it called, two of the new set coming out. Blazing Vortex, I'm pretty sure is the name of that one. But for tonight, you know, wasn't as crazy as last week, but still had a very fun night. Arc Rebellion XYZ, Mutant Evolution Lab, Dual Avatar Empowered Kungayo. Dual Avatar Invitation, Raider's Knight, such a cool card. Honestly, beautiful card. I wish that was a secret, because that card deserves it. The art is just beautiful. Tribergrade, Fractal, Mutant Ultimus, another great secret in the set there. Mutant ST46, Raider's Wing, Virtual World Phoenix Fan Fan, Dogmatica, Ashin, Warning Point, and then we pulled the Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring earlier in our first Maximum Gold box we did. And then we'll go ahead and just kind of fan through some of these other ones real quick for us before I get them sleeved. Got uh, two of the Fantasticals. Pretty nice cards there. All right. You know what? Hey, we're uh, so far we've done four of our 14 booster boxes that we have right now. No, you know, hey, no Starlight type, but that's okay. You know, if we pull in a Starlight every weekend, I might as well quit my job and do this. But so far, we have pulled one of the Starlights, which uh, Phantom Knights of Torrent Scales. Still love this card. Really excited to go ahead and send that one into PSA to get that one graded as soon as possible. Sadly, it's still not in their database. Uh, I did contact PSA to see if they can do something about getting the Phantom Raid set in PSA as soon as possible. Because I do have a bunch of these that I would really love to get graded. And, uh, you know, once I get my Wing Dragon Raw Ghost Rare back, which I really think that one might come back as a 10, we'll go ahead and unbox that one on stream. And, you know what, hopefully 
get really excited if that one comes back at 10. If that one comes back at 10, I think that night I might be posting it up for auction on eBay just to see what it goes for. I'm really excited. And at least Hear me out. Sell it in chat. Sell it in chat. You know, auction in chat. And that, that, the reason I'm okay selling it, though, is like I, I have a backup. So if that one does sell for a decent amount, at least I can still have one for myself if I do want to keep one. So not going to complain there. I had a blast, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. And again, we do have a 100 follower giveaway going on. Once we hit 100 followers, we'll be giving away this sealed Phantom Rage box, keeping it aside so I make sure not to open it, even though how tempting I, I am. Sorry, how tempted I am to open up this box. <laughs> Fully sealed Phantom Rage box. Bought this one from the same place I bought my case. Super cool place over there, the Gaming Goat in Schaumburg. And uh, yeah, super excited to give that box away when we hit 100. And thank you so much for stopping by tonight. We'll be back next Sunday. And uh, yeah. Thanks again for everyone who tuned in. Hope you have a great night. Bye-bye.